Hello lovelies, this year for you, alongside our super popular maths and science predictive papers, we now have sociology predictive papers as well, so GCSE and AM sociology, but rest assured these have not been written for me. My head of sociology, Gemma, has thoroughly analysed the trends and the patterns of past exam papers. She has meticulously examined the topics and the questions and used this comprehensive analysis to craft predictive papers for this year's. And you can find the papers in the link in the description or you can find the video walkthroughs in the playlist. So Gemma has also created videos explaining all of these papers where she demonstrates what a top tier grade nine answer looks like for sociology, including all the necessary seals for interpreting questions, structuring long answer responses, and you'll recognise many of the question styles and types. So you can see how Gemma has structured her answers so that you can do the same in your exam. Both of the predictive papers and their accompanying video walkthroughs are available on our bootcamp, available on our master classes, or if you just want the videos, they're available on the predictive paper playlist. You can use these topics as a foundation for your vision, but please remember to revise everything fully, as these are just predictions and we do not have access to the actual exam paper or any insider information. So for GCSE paper one, section one, the section on families, these are the bits we'd like you to look at. So the changing patterns of marriage and divorce in UK families, the changing patterns within modern couples, including cohabitation, Young and Wilmot's study of the symmetrical family, the, the rap of courts and the significance of family diversity, I hope I pronounced that name properly, and the functions of the modern family. And then questionnaires and everything to do with research methods, because we know that comes up a lot. For the second section, education, we'd like you to look at education policy, policy including marketisation, social class differences within education, external factors of fit, affecting educational attainment, teacher labelling, anti-school subcultures and participant observation and official statistics for research methods. Now we know research methods can come up all over the place so that is an area that you really should focus a lot of your time on. Good luck guys, don't forget we are here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches.